Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? If you can, that means you can hear the sound from your speaker. And that's what we're going to talk about. How sound travels through materials. So buckle up and let's have a sound fun. So let's have a look at our learning outcome for today. Today we're going to explore how sounds are made when objects or materials are vibrating. And that's going to sound interesting. So now, what do we need to know after today? First of all, we need to know our science terminology. So we're going to have a look at two words and their definitions. The first one, source, and secondly, travel. Okay, where do sounds come from? That is going to be a good question. And how do you get the sound? How does the sound travel all the way to my ears? That's going to be something interesting to find out. So let's quickly focus on the words we need to know. Now, first word is source. Now, what does that mean? Hmm. Source means where something comes from. So if I ask you, can you figure out what is the source of milk? Where does milk come from? Did you say the shop? Yes, that is true. But let's think a little bit further. Where does it originally come from? Mm -hmm. If you said cow, then you are correct. Yes, the source of milk is from the cow. As you listen now to me, the source of this sound comes from the speakers of your device. Now, next one, travel. Oh, I love to travel. And what does that mean? It means to move from one place to another. As the sound travels from the speaker all the way to your ear, from one place to another. Well done, guys. Let's see. Now, remember these two words, source and travel. We're going to see if you remember them later on today. Now, what is sound? So, let's do the following. Close your eyes and don't make a sound. What can you hear? Huh? I hear some birds chirping. What direction is it coming from? It's coming from the left. Is it loud or quiet? And it's far away, so it's, it's quiet. Do you like the sound? Yes, I like the sound of birds chirping in the morning. That's always a good sound. So, now, let's l play a little game. Guess the sound of the source. Listen very carefully. What was that? What's the source of that sound? Did you guess a duck? Yes, you are correct. It's a duck. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of a trickier one. Can you figure out what's the source of the sound? Is not something that happens a lot in Oman. So what did you say was it? Did you think thunder and rain? Then you are 100% correct. Well done guys. Great job. Now let's have some fun and we're gonna build our own string telephone and do an experiment with it. So what are you gonna need? You're gonna need two paper cups but if you do not have the paper cups and you have these two plastic cups that will do just as good and then you need some string so first of all you're gonna make a little hole but because you weren't gonna work with a sharp object maybe ask your mom and dad to help on this one so in the middle at the bottom of your cup you're gonna make a little hole then you're gonna take your string about two meters so that's going to be much longer than you are at this moment. Going to get 
yeah, that's about fine. And then you can cut it and thread it through that little hole you made earlier. And when you did those with both cups, you will have something like this. Yeah. Ooh, your own Umantal string telephone. So, this is great. But what are we going to do with this? What are we going to do? Now, we're going to test it. Yes. So, very important. When you test it, your string should not be loopy. It needs to be tight. That's going to be talking about vibrations later. Sneak peek of what's going to come into the unit. Okay. Now, first of all, you're going to pull it. One person is going to have one ear on it. And the other person, the other, you're going to talk into it. Not the ear on it. You're going to talk into it. But remember, string needs to be tight. So, first of all, I want you guys to try to speak in a normal voice. Hello, my name is Quibbis. And then you ask that person, listen here, did you hear what I said? That's going to be me. Yes, no, maybe. And then I want you guys to try the next one, to whisper and maybe say something funny. I like ice cream. Yes. And I ask the same question. Did you hear what I said? Now, let's do something else as well. Maybe you can try. Now, as I said before, your string need to be tight. Try and test it if it's loopy. Did you hear the person clear as previously? Why not? Think about that one. Now, let's have a look at a few questions. Question number one. What is the source of sound in the string telephone? So when you talked into your cup, where did the sound come from? Because that is the meaning of source. So where did the sound come from when you talked into the cup? Can you answer this question? Hmm, I think you can. Now, which materials does the sound travel through in the string telephone? Now, there's something filling this cup, a lot of it. And when you talked into it, it goes, what do we call this thing here again? All the way to the other cup. So which materials does the sound travel through in your string telephone? And now, the third question. That is a bit of an interesting one and requires us to do an experiment at home. Why did the Native American people lie with one ear on the ground to listen for enemies or animals to hunt? Now, if you're at home and you have a big dining table, ask your mom and dad. To stand on the one side of the dining table and you on the other. Let your mom and dad first tap on the table. Did you hear that? Was it a loud sound? Is it clear? Now, let's repeat the same exact tap, but now you lay with your one ear on the table. Did it sound louder or quieter? Mm. So why did you think the Native American people lie with one ear on the ground to listen for enemies or animals to hunt? Good question. Now, let's see if you learned something today. We have two words that we've learned today, source and travel. Can you match it with the correct de definition? We have two definitions, to move from one place to another or where something comes from. So source. Which one will that be? Hmm, I'll give you a few seconds to think. Yes, did you say where something comes from? You 100% correct. Well done. So that means travel means to move from one place to another. Well done, guys. You did a great job so far. Now, if you say, what is the next question that we've learned? Where do sounds come from? So, for example, at this moment, you are listening to me, and the source of the sound is from the speaker. So, it comes from a source. As you've seen before, it can come from animals, for example, ducks. It can come from nature, for example, thunder and rain. So, there are different types of sources, but it always comes from a source. Now, how does sound get to your ears? Now, as you can see in this picture, this sound waves that vibrates the material around us and 
What's material around us? Air. And as that sound wave moves, it reaches our ear as it vibrates the air. But that is a sneak peek of what's to come in our unit later on. So, what do you need to do now for me is complete worksheet 4.1 that you receive on Moodle. And when you finish with it, submit it on Moodle for me so I can check if you understand. Guys, that is all for today. If you hear me again, we're going to go on with sound. So please be safe and take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye.